Hello there, welcome to the clinic. So today I'm going to take a full range of measurements for your bespoke spectacles. Just looking straight ahead, I want to start off with a simple cover test. Just ensure there's no strabismus. And checking to see if there's a four here. Right, let's just repeat that near. Looking at the tip of the pen, please. Very good. Start with some bridge measurements. I'm going to incorporate this element and this element using the scales here and on the reverse there. Okay, just relax yourself. Let's bring the cursor in there and review the measurement. The other side, Just relax. Lovely. Just want to repeat this measurement, but a little higher up on the horizontal center line. Keep relaxing. Okay, a good range of measurements there. Right, so let's take some angular measurements using this scale here and the integrated cursor. Lovely. And for the other side. We're looking at about 20 degrees for the frontal angle. Now if we reverse things, rest this just on the bridge here. It's known as the splay angle. That's 20 degrees on the right. Approximately 17 degrees there. Let's rotate the cursor. Just want a little transparent element there. A transparent element. Okay, I'm just going to rest on the front. Bring it so we just Almost make eyelash contact. Good. Looks like a positive two there. Let's just have a look at the eyelash projection. And for the left, yes, we have positive projection there right and left. Now, let's switch rulers. This one here, I'm actually going to measure eyelash projections for each side. Focusing on the upper longest element. Looking at about seven millimeters. For the left, lash projections. Again, looking about seven millimeters there, so fairly long lashes, thank you. 
Okay, we have this scale here. Some more nice little measurements. This is known as the apical radius. We're looking for a very snug fit, not too loose and not too tight. Okay, if you're ready. That's a seven to the six, a little tight. That's seven and eight, slightly loose. So we're going to take that as seven millimeters there. Okay, let's remove this. Okay, now this part here, this part to rest on the bridge of the nose. I'm going to check the crest height. That's within normal range. And for this side. Good. That's about Seven millimetres there, thank you. Right, so we're going to use this device here. We're going to check the distance between the pupils, interpupillary distance. So just looking straight. Let me double check that for you. Sixty-six millimetres there. Right, switching rulers again. This one here, I'm going to use the uppermost scale to check the interpupillary distance again. Sixty-six again. Now I'm going to take one at a time using these scales here the monocular pupillary distance measurement. 33 and 33, so nice and symmetrical there. Okay, let's take some side measurements now. Check the angle of side on the right there. Angle of side on the left. Lovely. Check the length to tangent on the right. And length to tangent on the left. The length there. Now I'm just going to take the angular measurement just behind the ear. Good. About 20 degrees there. And on the left side. Just over 20 degrees, we'll call that 22. Okay, now we're going to incorporate both of these measuring devices now. I'm going to take head width measurement. So I'm going to just relax. So I'm going to come to Sides there and just repeat. 
eight hundred and thirty millimeters. Let's use the shorter end of the cursor to take a temple width measurement here. Hundred and twenty millimeters there. Right. Have some tape here. Just measure the head height. That's in inches. Now for centimeters, please. Okay. Take some diagonal measurements. Okay, and just the head circumference, the forehead level. Six centimeters there. Marvelous. Right, let's have a look what scales we have here. I'm going to move on to the pupils. We have this scale here for the horizontal measurements, looking for any nice choria. So also check the vertical pupil measurement. I want to ensure that we have a nice round pupil rather than an oval one. So just look straight, move along the scale. So for the right, six millimeters. And for the left, again. Okay, let's switch to the vertical scale here. And for the left. round pupils there. Now let's use uh, maybe this scale here there, to check the distance between the lids. This is the vertical palpebral aperture. Ten mil on the right. and 11 mil on the left, so slightly larger aperture in the left by one millimeter. Right, so I'm going to use this scale here to check the iris diameter. Let's continue looking straight for the right. 12 millimeters and for the left. Twelve again, marvellous. Right, I want to take some measurements as you wear these spectacles. These are going to be your second pair. I just want to measure where we're going to fit the bifocal segment in these. I'm also going to check the length to bend, so where we need to potentially adjust these so that they fit nicely on both sides. 
But before we do that, just check the height of the lens. 31 millimeters. Just confirm that's the same. That's 31. And just for the bridge measurement there. That's 18 millimeters. Okay, let's get these on you. Interpupillary distance with the spectacles on. Marvellous. For the near measurement, just looking at the tip of the pen. Looking straight, I'm just going to mark the centre of the lens. Each eye. Look at the length to bend. So we need to adjust this at around ninety millimeters. That's about the same on the left. Marvelous. Go back to this ruler, check the segment height on the frames. Just looking into my right eye, so the segment height is going to be 8 millimeters from the bottom. Looking into my left eye, Eight millimeters on the left. And just one final measurement that the spectacles on. Excellent, so I have all the measurements there. We'll get your first pair of spark spectacles ordered and the second pair will go off today. We'll give you a call when those are in.